From meditation underwater to flying dragons in the jungle, from ingenious fishing techniques to mysterious, monstrous creatures, the Philippines is surely a land of a lot of unbelievable things. Hang on, and we are about to show you the craziest thing captured in the Philippines. Baggio Spearfishing The Baggio tribe are sea-dwelling Filipinos. These people are expert fishermen who can die without any weights and hunt for fish under sea pressure. Their lungs shrunk by one-third as they touch the depths of the sea. Most of the fishermen we see catches fish from the safety of their boats, but these real-life aquamen dive 65 feet to the bottom of the sea and use just spears to catch their fish, which is really amazing. Since they live a nomadic lifestyle, they are always moving from one location to another, but are mostly found in the Southeast Asian regions like Indonesia, Malaysia, and the Philippines. Before we move any further, like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon so you can keep watching our amazing content. Piranha Fishing The razor-sharp teeth of piranhas cut through metal lines and fishing nets. So, the fishermen from Brazil and the Philippines came up with a great and ingenious solution. They use a piece of meat to catch them just like this. Piranhas are notorious for their cannabis feeding frenzy. They hunt in schools, and as soon as a piranha finds a piece of meat, it calls its whole school. They all gather together to eat the meat, and Fisherman pulls that piece out and hints all the piranhas along with it. There is no need to have fancy equipment, just a metal wire, and a tiny piece of meat will get them. Alien Looking Creature this alien-looking creature was seen swimming in the waters of the Philippines. These sea creatures are commonly known as blanket octopus. These angel-like animals are found in the tropical waters, and the females can reach up to the length of six feet, whereas the males are drastically smaller, and female blanket octopus are 40,000 times heavier than their male counterpart. Tiny Dragons Moving across from tree to tree in the jungles of Southeast Asia, these tiny dragons are famously known as Draco lizards. Although they aren't really capable of flying, they can glide pretty far. They can glide up to the distance of 30 feet using the membrane around their limbs. These dragons have a set of elongated ribs, which they can extend and contract. There is a fold of skin in between the ribs that rest flat against the body when not in use. But act as wings when unfurled, allowing these little dragons to catch the wind and glide. They have to constantly move in order to protect themselves from predators. Hairy Blob Washed ashore on the beach of Dinagat Island, Philippines, this scary decomposing carcass of a sea monster with its huge teeth and hairy body is the stuff of nightmares. Upon hearing the news about this creature, many people rushed to the site to take pictures. According to many people and experts, this could be a very decomposed body of a whale, the hair being the decomposed muscle fiber, and I think I would like to believe that, too. Bird's Nest Soup The bird's nest soup is made from the edible bird's nest, which are made by the swift-lit birds on the high mountainous peaks. These nests are known as the caviar of the East. Just two pounds of nest can cost more than $200. This soup is considered to be really good for your body and mind. That is, the market demand for these nests is really high. People really risk their lives by climbing slippery limestones to get it. The man who harvests these nests are called busyadars. There is absolutely no room for mistakes on these cliffs. One mistake, and you can fall. Snake Massage These unique messages are not for the people who are afraid of snakes. The Cebu City Zoo is providing its visitors with snake massage treatments from four of their Baramese pythons weighing 550 pounds and can be over 16 feet in length. The snake slithers across the human body, these movements relax the muscles, while the flickering of their tongue creates ticklish sensations. 
These massages are said to be really therapeutic and calming for the people. If you ever happen to be in the Cebu City Zoo, don't forget to ask for your free massage therapy. The Philippine Eagle The local legend among the natives of Bonga people is that there is a bird as big as a human that flies through the misty forest and feasts on the local monkeys. They call it the monkey-eating eagle. This mythical creature is the Philippine eagle, the third largest of all the eagles. The average wingspan of this apex predator is over 2 meters, or 7 feet, and that's bigger than an average human. Sadly, the Philippine eagle is quickly becoming endangered due to deforestation and lack of habitable areas for these birds. Flying Fox This is a giant golden-crowned flying fox. Found in the Philippines, this human-sized, sometimes even bigger than humans, fox is not really a fox, it's a bat! Don't worry, they won't come after you at night. In fact, these bats are frugivores, which means that they only feast on fruits, like figs. These are the largest species of the bats with three subspecies. But sadly, one of those species have been extinct the remaining and are in danger due to hunting and deforestation. They are rarely seen, so not much is known about them. Homo lozenisis fossils Bone fragments were found in Calo Cave, Luzon, Philippines. It belonged to the species resembling the Homo sapiens. A decade ago, a foot bone dating to at least 67,000 years was discovered from the same location which wasn't identified at that time. The newer fragments included a thigh bone, seven teeth, two foot bones, and two hand bones, and they belonged to a child and two adults. These tiny humans used to live more than 50,000 years ago. The researchers have named Homo lozenis. The bone fragments revealed that they were short-statured species. This is a huge discovery because previously these humans were never heard of which means they have increased the human family tree. Extinct Sea Cow Fossil From the caves of the Palawan Island, bone fragments of a 20 million year old animal were discovered in the Philippines. These fossilized bones belong to an extinct sea cow species known as the plant-eating Serenia. The fragments contained several parts of ribs and spine which were embedded in a limestone. It's the first remains of this kind of animal in the area that belonged to the Miocene era. According to the scientists, the animal would have been about six feet long. The living relatives of these extinct sea mammals are the dugongs of the Indo-Pacific region and the manatees of the Atlantic Basin. Spotted Tortoise Beetle the Philippines is home to 21,000 insect species, and up to 70% are endemic to the country. This is a spotted tortoise beetle. It is exclusive to the Philippines. A spotted tortoise beetle is a species of leaf beetle, but it looks like a tiny tortoise. These beetles are found mostly on the flowering plants like the morning dew. A unique feature about these beetles is that their larvae stack their feces and previous molts onto a fork-like structure near the posterior end of the body. This creates an extended tail used to fool the predators. Have you seen such a nice, cute insect before? Let us know in the comments. Golden Death Mask The Golden Death Mask is the first one of its kind that was found in the Philippines in the 1960s. A death mask was made for the burial rituals. It was placed on the deceased person's eyes as an amulet to prevent evil spirits from entering the body. This tradition was brought to the Philippines by the Chinese in the 14th to early 15th century AD. Golden Tara In the year 1917, a statue of a Hindu Buddhist goddess was discovered by accident along the banks of the Wawa River in Ogasan. It is famously known as the Golden Tara which is the name of the goddess. It has been kept in the Field Museum of Natural History in Chicago, Illinois since 1922. It is said to be dated back to the 900 to 950 AD. The expert archaeologists are still unable to place its provenance because of its distinct features. The statue is made of 24 karat of gold. It weighs around 4 pounds and is 5 inches in height. 
Although the figurine is very distinctive, it continues to create arguments among the experts about its identity. Hanging Coffins The name suggests it all, Hanging Coffins. Well, this traditional practice is seen in China, Indonesia, and also the Philippines, as when an elderly person passes away. They are blanket-packed in a fetal position and pass like a ball from one person to another standing in a queue. Then they are placed on a mountain grave in hanging positions. Locals believe that this is how they remain is connected to their ancestors and to nature. This burial process lasts about a week, during which they pray to the dead to continue guiding and protecting them. Well, this custom has been a good source of attraction for the people as hundreds of visitors come from all over the world to marvel at these odd graves. Sunken Cemetery This cemetery is like no others. There are no gravestones, no flowers or memorials, just a bed of sea now. Underneath this sea lies an old cemetery which sank during the birth of Mount Vulcan along with the town which it used to serve. In the 1870s, a volcano near this place erupted and caused the cemetery and the town to sink below the sea. In order to commemorate this place of loss, a looming cross was built in remembrance. Visitors all over the Philippines and the world come to admire this man-made marvel filled with legend and enchantment. The Hundred Island National Park Located in the Pangasian province, the Hundred Islands Park consists of 124 islands, or 123 when the tidal waves are high. These mushroom-shaped islands are said to be a part of the seabed some 2 million years ago. Out of the 124 islands so far, only four have been developed are tourist spots in marine reserves. The rest are left untouched and uninhabited. These lands are spread across 1,844 hectares of land area. You can reserve any of the four islands for your stay. There are a number of activities that you can indulge in while being on these islands, such as diving. People from far away visit just for the enchanting beauty and the relaxing environment that these areas provide. Bay Anion. This simple yet amazing custom turns the ordinary people into real heroes. In the Philippines, when a person moves from one place to another, their neighbors come together and help them in a moving their house literally. They lift their neighbor's hut and drop it to the new location. This is not only done with houses, but with everything that requires help. Filipinos believe in the concept of unity, and that is why they always unite together to help each other during the toughest times and bounce back with a huge smile on their face. This helps in building a stronger and more trustworthy community. Underwater Statue of Virgin Mary In 2010, a statue of the Virgin Mary was placed under the sea off the coast of Bohol, Philippines, by a few eco-enthusiast divers. This statue is called Our Lady of the Sea. This was done in order to stop mass fishing as it was destroying the precious marine ecosystem and protect the coral reef. The statue was placed as a reminder for the fishermen that the god has created the land on earth, and he also created what is in the sea. The statue has now become a hotspot for divers. Benyukat. Benyukat is a pre-Spanish colonial cultural practice that is still valid in some parts of the Philippines today, in which these Filipino families isolate their most beautiful daughters from the rest of the family which they believe will increase the girl's marital value from a young age. The girls cannot do anything without the supervision of her parents. They can't go out and are only entertained by her parents or her grandparents. Fortunately, you won't see this custom being practiced nowadays in the Philippines to that extent. 63-Year-Old Diver For most of us, holding our breath for no longer than 10 seconds can be a nightmare, but this 63-year-old man is free diving and meditating so smoothly along the seabed. Belonging to the Baggio tribe, this man is their oldest and most experienced diver. He loves to dive because he finds it meditative and calming for him. Baggio people are truly made for the sea, and the sea is made for them. 
Look at how active this man is in the water. In fact, he is more active in the water than he is on the land. If you want to dive with him, you must learn to hold your breath for as long as you can. Ghost Walk Through Gate It is said that after a person has passed away, sometimes their residual energy is left behind, and a CCTV clip from a small village in the Philippines allegedly shows such a case of supernatural presence. The clip opens with a deserted street in the middle of the night. All of a sudden, a misty, smoky figure appears on the street as if it has walked straight through that gate. Now, it's not possible for a human to do so. Is this the residual energy of a dead person or a person from another dimension? It might be an elaborate hoax as well. What do you guys think about this? Caged Demon in the Tugatog Cemetery, Philippines, there is a peculiar and macabre gravestone that was built in 1926. It depicts a demon that is standing on the top of an angel as if it has defeated the angel in a battle. This gravestone is locked up in a cage. It is said that every night this demon comes to life and snatches any soul it can find. It is placed on the grave of a man named Don Simeon Bernardo, who was a very religious man. He had this statue made in order to remind the world about the darkness that is constantly trying to defeat the light in this world. Dancing Inmates These prisoners are not like any other prisoners you have ever seen. Placed in a maximum security prison called Cebu Provincial Detention and Rehabilitation Center, these special prisoners are dancing to make a change in their lives by following a rehearsed dance practice every single day. These dances are often broadcasted in the morning for others to see. Through this rehabilitation practice, the aggression and frustrations can be reduced and a person can be made a healthier and calmer person. I wish everyone could adopt these humane practices. Tarsier. The tiny googly-eyed nocturnal creatures are quickly becoming endangered. They were once found all over the world and could be found in abundance. But now, they are becoming limited to the Philippines, Malaysia, Indonesia, and Bruni. But the Philippines alone have over 18 species of tarsier. They are amazing leapers. They jump from one tree to another and have sticky fingers, literally. Another one of their amazing features is that they can move their heads 180 degrees like the exorcist. Yikes! Cute and creepy. Amazing Rainfall Many of us have wondered how rain actually starts at some point in our lives. Looks like a fisherman from the Philippines now has the answer to our little boggling question. He was fishing out there in the open ocean when he spotted rain falling down from the sky. He immediately took his camera out and filmed this phenomenal view. The soothing video shows the start of a rainfall as the water drops and moves gradually towards the man. The satisfying ripples can be seen in the water. Wooden Bike Race the Ifagos, an ethnic group who reside in the southeastern part of the Cadorlio region in the Philippines, are famous for their exceptional wood carving skills. They carve these bikes out of wood, used rubber tires, and absolutely no engine. They rely completely on gravity. They use their bikes to race down the mountain during their Ibia festival, which is a festival to thank the heavens for the bountiful harvest in Banu. During their ceremony, they wear nothing but their ethnic attire called Bahag. The Ifago men complete their four and a half mile course while riding on their homemade scooters along the steep slope from the mountains to the town of Banu below. Today's open discussion opines on the instance when a camera captures some weird sea monster lurking around a submarine in the Philippines. But no one could infer what this sea creature was. But the natives claim that it was Bakunawa the serpent-like dragon that often harasses the fishermen. World's Largest Pair of Shoes Did you know that the Philippines holds the record for largest shoes ever made? Yeah, this amazing pair of loafers are 16 inches high, 17 feet long, and 8 feet wide. And it looks like the raw material of 250 shoes 
and 77 days to make this beauty. And the budget. Let's just say that it was outrageous. Well, you can have their full display at Maracana City, Philippines, which is famous for being the shoe capital of the country. This massive footwear was brought in front of the world's eye back in 2022, and no other country has so far been able to pull off such a cobbled wonder. The Hobbit House Pub If you are shorter than a normal person and have no place to hang without being annoyed, then there is a place in the Philippines where you will fit in like a shoe. The innovative palace has been running for the past 20 years and is a total crowd puller. The interior of the bar goes like a kind of grimy bar with its over-the-top decor and eerie green light, and it is a little unusual as a place to hang out. The rumor has it that this place was especially created to encourage people suffering from dwarfism in the Philippines, as they had been victims of strong prejudice for a long time. This pub may seem bizarre to some, but to these local small people, it is their special den. Solar Painting This Filipino is famous for burning his canvas. Well, sort of burning to sketch things. This is Jordan Mangasin, and look at how he plays with the sunlight. Well, this technique is called sunlight art, in which the artist uses a magnifying glass on the wooded canvas and produces monochromatic masterpieces. Jordan Mangasin was not always a painter, but he started as a construction worker. However, he grew weary of all the bricks and stones. He got famous when he made the painting of the 16th president of the Philippines, Duterte, in his signature pose. It took him two months to finish. Thank you very much for watching the video. Do like and share it with your friends. Subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to not miss any of the upcoming amazing videos. Thank you once again.